Hello, I am Kazuba Pias. Welcome to Shareability Uganda. Uh, I will be taking you through primary four science and in this topic we shall be looking at flowers. This is a topic basically studied during first term. Uh, we shall be defining what a flower is, the purposes of a flower, the basic parts of a flower. A flower is the reproductive structure of a plant. It helps the plant to produce fruits and, uh, and seeds. During pollination, when pollination occurs, pollen grains are moved from the male parts to the female parts. Pollen grains land on the female parts. Land on the, on the, they land on the stigma and uh, a tiny tube grows from it and down the style into the ovary. The fertilized ovule becomes the seed and the ovary becomes the fruit. So basically that is the major importance of the flower. Let us look at the basic We shall also look at the functions of the parts and the uses of the flower to man and the plant itself. Uh, Flowers are important in making seeds. Flowers can be made up of different parts, but there are, there are some parts that are basic equipment. The main flower parts are the male part called the stamen, and uh, the female part called the pistil. <coughs> the stamen has uh, four parts. It has the anthers. It uh, sorry. The stamen has two parts. It has basically the anther and the filament. That is the, the male part of the flower. And the pistil, which is the female part of the flower, has three parts. Stigma, style, and the ovary. Uh, the pistil has... The stigma is the sticky, sticky surface at the top of the Pistil. It traps and holds the pollen grains during pollination. The style is the tube. It's the tube-like structure that holds up the stigma. The style leads down the ovary that contains the ovules. Other parts of the flower that are important are the petals and the sepals. Uh, sepals are the exterior parts of the flower that protect the interior flower while it emerges. It protects it from bad weather, from extruders like, uh, sorry, intruders like uh, humans, animals, and uh, other insects that do not carry out pollination. Destroy the flower while it's growing. Petals. Petals. But the main, the main purpose of the petals is to attract pollinators to the flower. It is brightly colored so that it may, so that it can make the flower to be visible and to be attractive to insects and maybe to humans. We have the anthers. Anthers sit at the top of the filament of the stamen. Remember, we say the stamen is the male part of the what of the flower. Uh, the anthers produce and contain the pollen grains or the pollen. We have the filament. The filament is the thin tubular part of the stamen that extends and supports the pollen sac at the top. Uh, we also have other parts. We have the stigma. The stigma sits at the top of the capo. I want you to search about the capo and make notes about it. And its job is to capture the pollen. We have the style. The style is the elongated part of the couple that joins the ovary to the stigma. Uh, we have uh, the ovary. The ovary produces and contains unfertilized seeds. After fertilization, they are the ones that become the, the seeds of the plant the ovules and let us discuss the ovules independently ovules are contained in the ovary please don't confuse the ovary and the and the ovules 
ovules are contained within the ovary. And after fertilization, after successful pollination, sorry, not fertilization, but after successful pollination, these ovules are the ones that become the seed of the fruit. Uh, let us discuss the uses of flowers to human beings or to man. The uses of flowers to us, someone like me, someone like you who is watching, what is the use, what could be the use of a flower to you? Flowers are flowers are used as air cleaners. I think you have you have ever seen flowers being planted along verandas uh, in compounds. They are basically used to decorate homes or uh, sometimes okay mostly they are used to decorate but the other purpose is also to clean our air, the air that we breathe in, the oxygen. Plants usually absorb carbon dioxide and produce oxygen, which is used by humans for breathing. Flowers can be used as herbal medicine. They can be locally used as medicine to treat several diseases. Uh, they can be used as dyes. I don't know if you people know dye or color, color is basically produced from flowers. Uh, there are some flowers that are planted basically to get color and dye. Uh, fl some flowers are eaten, not all, but some flowers are eaten. They are audible and they are used as food among these different communities. Flowers are also used for beauty purposes, uh, like uh, used to decorate maids, uh, bridegrooms. They are used also in celebrations, like uh, marriage ceremonies, uh, uh, they are used also in um, Thanksgiving, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen some flowers being put on tables. Flowers are used basically. <clears throat> they are put to different purposes by man. Uh, uses of a flower to the plant itself. The flower increases the beauty of the plant. And it helps to attract pollinators. So that pollination can take place. It helps in reproduction in plants. Had there not been flowers, the plant would not be able to to reproduce and therefore it would not be able to produce seeds. The flower also attracts buds for helping in pollination. I have already discussed that. Uh, thank you for watching this short video. Thank you for supporting Shareability Uganda. Please subscribe if this is your first time and uh, consider giving us a like. Thank you. God bless you.